think that it's very important, you know, to have like a really good production design that really stands out. We hired Grace Walker, our production designer, and he had done um, both Gothica and Ghost Ship for us, and he's wildly talented. He's just a wonderful guy, great production designer, has a great sense of the look of these movies and really helps us get to where we, we need to be. One of the most spectacular things that we did with this movie, because we'd built incredible sets before. We built a whole ship for Ghost Ship. We built the interior of the Institute in Gothica. But this one, we built a whole town. You know, as Joel said, if it's just going to be a normal looking town, we could have done this on a back lot someplace. How many times do you build a town for a movie? Let's do something different. Let's do something unusual. He wanted something a bit more unique, something that's, you know, has a bit more style to it. In, in a movie of this sort, you know, you usually shoot them on a back lot of a studio, and those towns always look kind of the same, like yeah. Midwestern towns that have a main street that just feel Very like you've seen them before. Yeah. Joel started referencing certain places and photos and things, which Grace then went and looked at and came back and said, how about this? There was a city that I remember I'd seen pictures of called Asmara. It was an Italian city in Ethiopia that was built in the 30s. It was built by the Italians part of World War II, and they were the colonists there, and built this sort of uh, modern rather than decker. We kind of took elements of that to give the style kind of a sleepy, lost American town. I thought it was a great idea, so I ran with it. Our key location is the service station, where a lot of the action takes place. We've got a church up the end. A lot happens in there. Of course, there's the House of Wax, which is up around the corner, and the Sinclair House. There's so many lights in that town. It is a big job, and we spend a lot of time talking where every lamp in that, in that town would go. There's also four kilometres of cable underground that went in before the town was constructed so that every lamp could be controlled by dimmers and all those things. The town took us 10 weeks to build, which is fantastic. You know, I don't have a favourite, but I think the church came up as better than what I expected. That was exciting to have stuff come to the fore that it's better than what you even think it might be. It's funny because I am from Texas and I've seen little towns like the one where the House of Wax is. And you go and you're like, this is a town. I mean, there's like streets and there's curbs and there's cracks in the curbs where little weeds are growing up. Like, I don't understand, but it's really cool. Where this movie stands out is that working with the wax medium. It is wax, like literally. The next challenge was building the house of wax, building an environment that was our standout piece, it's our big set piece of the movie, and it had to look cool, it had to look great, it had to be sensational, it couldn't, it couldn't be anything less. We were asked to do like a whole house made out of wax. It was huge, I pictured a house, like something house size, and this is far more a blend between like um, a museum and a house, like a very stately house. A lot of it's thin layers, and then there's a lot that's solid wax that we've molded into objects. Uh, we've taken molds off things like furniture and that, and. Uh, poured in wax into the mold, so they're solid wax. I was very excited in working on this movie because I personally love wax and candles, and we really got to do a lot of great stuff with it. It's so hard to get out of there. It's like two feet deep of sludge. I don't think I've ever been stuck like that before in my life. So I was trying, I was like, I was wiggling my foot like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was unlike anything I've ever done before in my entire life. It's the first scene of the day and I already feel like showering. All in a day's work. In terms of a physical challenge for the movie, the whole wax of it all is something that was, you know, very complicated. We weren't just building normal stuff, we were building things that were made of wax. There was no other substance that could really replicate the wax other than wax. And I decided the only way to do it was to just create a wax department. And their sole function was just to create these wax figures. 
We had a big job. I mean, the movie is full of people. They're all wax, everyone. There's a movie theater, there's a church, there's stores, shopping. I mean, it's, it's all over the movie. And sometimes they actually created, you know, three-dimensional wax figures. Sometimes they actually took people and kind of had wax masks made. I mean, it's really complicated. We're taking live casts of, of different actors and, and um, extras that the directors approved, of bodies and heads, and then we turn their heads into silicon heads, airbrush them up to look real but slightly dead looking, and then the eyes go in and the teeth and all the hair punching and all the art finish that, that makes them look fantastic. And then clothes go on and uh, they go into, into position. The wax people, the, the craftsmen that worked on it and that they made the wax figures and Grace building the sets and all of the little figures that they did in wax and it was just amazing. It was fantastic. The talent is remarkable. I haven't seen anything like it. I wonder how many teeth you have to have to win that one. <laughs> it just all worked. The way it was laid out, we were able to come up with a design where we are able to actually work very fast and efficient. You know, if we try to do this in a real town, we couldn't have done it. Just controlling people and dealing with shop owners and loss of business and things like that. So by being in our own environment, all that was removed. I mean, it was a field before we got there, which I think is incredible. You've never seen anything like this before. Everybody had to kind of learn to, to, to live with the wax, to work with the wax. It was complex, but we were able to make it look what it had to look like. And that's the challenge and I think we've pulled it off so that was great.